And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass, and in cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And I, behold, I have given with him Aholiab the son of Ahissamach of the tribe of Dan. And in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee, the tabernacle of the congregation, and the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is thereupon, and all the furniture of the tabernacle. In Exodus 31, 3, the scriptures use three words that correspond to upper part of the sephirot pertaining to the tree of life. These words are wisdom, chokma, understanding, bina, and knowledge, kether. These three pillars are represented by the three principal officers of the Freemason Lodge. The worshipful master that sits east where the sun rises. The junior warden that sits south which is symbolic of the position of the sun at midday. The senior warden sits in the west which is symbolic of the setting sun. The worshipful master represents the pillar of wisdom, it being said that he has wisdom to open his lodge, set the craft at work and give them proper instruction, the senior warden represents the pillar of strength, it being his duty to assist the worshipful master in opening and closing his lodge, to pay the craft their wages, if any be due, and see that none go away dissatisfied, harmony being the strength and support of all institutions, more especially of ours, the junior warden represents the pillar of beauty, it being his duty to observe the sun at meridian height, which is the glory and beauty of the day. As you see, this is represented in the tarot card and the Bible. For the Lord God is a sun and shield, the Lord will give grace and glory, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. The lodge represents the world, the three principal officers represent the sun in his three principal positions, at rising, at meridian, and at setting. The circumambulation, therefore, alludes to the apparent course of the solar orb, through these points, around the world. This is with us its astronomical symbolism. But its intellectual symbolism is that the circumambulation, and the obstructions at various points, refer to the labors and difficulties of the student in his progress from intellectual darkness or ignorance to intellectual light or truth, their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. The three sons of Noah, Japhet, Ham and Shem, whose initials are I, H, S, taken by Christians as the monogram of Jesus, Jesus hominum salvator, can be applied to the three aspects of the sun, rising, meridian and setting. This monogram also referred to Bacchus, a solar deity, as well as the initials of Isis, Horus, Seb, the moon, the sun, the earth, forming one of the Egyptian triads. In the account of Jacob and his twelve sons we have again a glyph of the sun and the zodiac. The twelve tribes of Israel, camped about the tabernacle, refer to the zodiac with the sun in the center, the breastplate of the high priest containing twelve precious stones each referable to a month, a tribe and a sign. Joseph, in his dream of the sun, moon and eleven stars making obeisance to him, his coat of many colors, all refer to the same thing. The story of Samson is another astrological allegory. His name is derived from Shemesh and On, the Assyrian and Egyptian names respectively for the sun. The locks of his hair, in which lay his strength, were the sun's rays, most powerful at the summer solstice and weakest at the winter solstice, when they were shorn, by the treachery of Delilah, the moon. The gates of Gaza and Hebron allude to the Tropic of Capricorn, where the sun apparently turns on his path. It is evident that the sun, either as an object of worship or of symbolization, has always formed an important part of both the mysteries and the system of Freemasonry.